1640 hours, reconnaissance detected the Sheevan transport carrying Admiral Bosch and his subordinates deep within the Sheevan controlled zone of the nebula. A wing of Mars repelled our recon unit, but we now have an approximate location. Alpha and Beta, your mission is to find and disable the Azrael transport. Okay. The attack must be executed quickly before the transport escapes. Once its engines are disabled, defend the transport until the recovery team arrives on Lambda 1. They will dock with the Azrael and haul the vessel back to damage opponents. Lambda 2 will be standing by in case Lambda 1 should fail. Mm-hmm. Capturing Bosch and his lieutenants is of the utmost importance. We do not know if they are alive or dead, or what the Shivans intend to do with them. Please review your objectives for this mission. Inception capture Azrael transport. Sounds pretty straightforward. Ho ho ho. And we've used everything apart from a turret, so yes please. The turret is a bit like um, a Hercules Mark II, except I'd say the armor's a little thinner and maneuverability is a little worse, but this is the important thing. Gun placement is formidable and it has a great power plant inside it. So I really like it and I hope I can show off exactly why. Uh, we're going to bump into some dragons at some point in this scenario, I do remember, but they shouldn't be too much to handle. It's only when they outnumber you that you really do have to be in a nippy fighter or engage at range. Otherwise, you can muddle through. Uh, Get more Promethei. Um, and or Promethei. Okay, let's let's keep you guys with uh, the light weapons. Ah, we have trebuchets. Excellent. Right. Tornadoes. Let's get you all loaded up with your incredibly uh, annoying <laughs> attacks that steal my kills or do all my work for me. In two minds about that. I mean, on the one hand, it's lost, no, well, not experience, but lost kills. Uh, but on the other, it is uh, wingmen being useful, and they deserve the, the opportunity to be so, in my opinion. And all there, and another batch. We have four tornadoes left over. Left over. Uh, that's an interesting amount to have a surplus. Guess it makes sense uh, because you could be out pitting the others, the other fighters, which have multiples of four, usually as lowdown <laughs> and delicious trebuchets in there. Slowly and cautiously. Quite a drain on our energy bank, so I'm not going to reduce gunpowder for once. Keeping my. Trying to detect any enemy fighters of H and R. Nothing doing. Mm, interesting. Nice. Just a couple of hits on that and almost dead. That's the power of Prometheus, if you can aim them, which I usually can't. This means you have to take more considered shots. Okay. We've got dragons. Gotta be careful here. Oops. Shouldn't have flown in front of my missiles, silly man. Shouldn't be too bad. Close one, dragon. I almost killed you. That's what I mean about shields. They can save a light fighter from death quite easily. Okay, and let's 
going a bit nuts because it's a dragon and it's uh, got real maneuverability behind it. Nice one. Uh, that man, or that suit. Or that woman. The Sudans are both genders, of course. Okay, I'm going to just sit here and absorb some fire, because I can take it. Okay. And here's a subspace portal. Clearly visible. Kind of. You did see it. Yeah, there, there's more of it going by. Just don't want to get in that path because we can be whacked around by it. So what are we going to do now, Command? What's your brilliant idea? Just send Alpha 4 home before she pops it. Alright, we'll deal with it. Let's take dual trebuchets off. Uh, Alpha is almost gone. And Alpha 4 didn't depart like I ordered her to. It's your funeral. There we go, trebuchet caught up to you. Disabled as well. There we go. It's very satisfying for me, guess, if you actually land the hits, because it's just like, you know, boom, dead. Fly so close, close, please. Nice. Oh, okay, sorry. So, hopefully, we can bring you down. There we go. How appropriate. You fight like a student as well. I'll just plink at the turrets. No reinforcements. Well, okay, yeah, does blink. Makes sense to call them in. Don't think we'll need them actually, but role playing. Let's call it that. as well in terms of uh, refilling my trebuchets. I'm guessing Delta and Seraphis is... No turrets, that's good. All units stand by for mission brief. We are deploying the Samtic. Dun dun dun. Uh, B to 3, depart. Uh, uh, what? Why? 9,000 meters? You're way off course, Samtik. What happened? That's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Pilots, Let's go with that. For the we need time to get the ship into position. In scenario, that's actually, that line is tagged as the Sudan BS. <laughs> the Samtik will spearhead our exploration of the region beyond the portal. You will escort the Samtik until we deploy our ex Funny how command can deploy these things on a whim. Ah, oh, what's that? Dragons. Or oh, Maras. Okay, let's bring it around. There we go.
bring it around and not too daisy. Nice. Samtic should be able to handle itself against the uh, combined might of Taurus 6 and his pals. So I'm not going to really bother. Let's have a look from Taurus 6 angle. Yeah, black's going all around 4%. There he goes. Two more Taurus left. This one should go very shortly. Zero percent. There we go. Something launched at me. <laughs> and there's Samtic. We can snipe with trebuchets any bombers that come through. Where? Uh, <laughs> I do need, you know, someone to light them up, up for me. Uh, literally. Where is this enemy wing that is inbound, allegedly? Nowhere, apparently. Something is attacking the sand. got four little dots next to which, which means there are four things targeting it. They should light up soon enough. It's not like it's in any serious trouble at the moment. Ah, see something. Mara's. No oh, big problem. Let's have a look from the Mara's angle. Be fun to watch. Quite relaxing this mission. <laughs> Got disabled. Silly Mara. Oh no, it did. Just uh, got really badly hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Bring yourself down to one percent. Never seen she even suicide before. I must have done it some. As soon as the Samtic opens up on you, Virgo 3, you're in big trouble. <laughs> Come on, Samtic, just destroy it. No, they're actually doing some damage to it. I think we'd better step in. Where? Yeah. It's, uh, what? That's a Thanos. Okay, yeah, return to base. Interestingly enough, the Samtic has more lines if this Safanus fails to destroy it on its first salvo, which is very unlikely. Welcome to the GDD Memphis, Terran. The annihilation of the Samtic and the thousands on board is a tragedy for all the students. The people burst in sorrow, or die in sorrow, as the old proverb goes. The discovery of the Septimnosis portal was of extraordinary significance, but there will be no expedition. Allied forces have sighted multiple Savannah's class juggernauts converging on our positions throughout the Nebula Theater. We stand on the brink of a new ship in resurgence, and our systems are once again in jeopardy. For the second time, the man has ordered a full retreat of all Allied vessels from the Nebula. We will withdraw immediately to the Capella system, where we will mount our defense. However, not even the Colossus has the firepower to repel a juggernaut fleet. With the 
disappearance of the Azrael and the extreme secrecy surrounding the Alliance's handling of the ETAC project, it could be many years before we learn what happened out here. Always the way. This need to know basis just confuses people and means mistakes get made. Even if the Samtic had got its coordinates right, it would have been destroyed, I think, because Safanus would still have jumped in, had it in its sights, might have even run over it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, point is that uh, as soon as it was deployed, it was probably going to die. Oh well, not much we can do. Uh, dragons, manticles, and Mara, that's nothing extraordinary. But things have just got serious. I mean, multiple Safani have emerged. Which can't be good for us.